All right, hi guys. Um, I hope you can hear me. I'm pretty sick, feeling incredibly under the weather. So I'm going to be doing a Jamie Lee Curtis um, portrait. <laughs> I'm so sick. I'm gonna, <laughs> I can't even think. Um, I'm going to be doing this in marker. I'm going to be using marker today. I, earlier this week, I worked on this in Procreate, and it didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to. You know, it happens. So I'm going to go ahead and try this in marker. And I'm, I'm really just sort of, I really just want to get the, the, the essence and the mystery of this portrait down. Like, I want to see if I can do that with marker. So, I'm bringing you along for the ride because I'm really bored. <laughs> um, and I don't really have energy for much of anything else. So, that's what I'm going to do. Alright? Okay. I don't think I'm going to film every single part of this just because I don't want to edit every single part of this video. But, you know, we'll see what happens. I am... Um, I know I've been noticing that... You know, maybe, maybe the beginning sketch of everything that I do doesn't have to be filmed. Just because it's the same process over and over. I make my grid, I put it, put it on here, put the grid here, and then I just start. Um, so really, I'm just gonna film once I get started. All right, I'll see you guys later. So I've got my grid drawn here, and. Um, have my reference. So I'm gonna get started on drawing out Jamie Lee and sort of map out what my obviously what my darkest parts of this are going to be. And then um I really kind of want to make sure I map out the shadows as well so that when I go in with marker I know where to put things uh, just because I don't want to get confused. So we'll see how this goes. I'm I'm a little nervous because I don't think I've ever worked with marker in such a serious manner. So we'll see. I'm I'm excited though. I think it'll be a nice change of pace and just because I don't like feel too well, I don't I don't really want to like work with paints right now and I tried doing this like I said in Procreate, but um my eyes are just like really tired <laughs> from looking at the screen so I'm just gonna try this out with markers and the kind of markers that I'm using it's the set that I have here um, and it has pretty much like any color I could possibly want so I'm excited you know we'll see how this turns out this is pretty dark so I'm thinking I'm gonna use a lot of black a lot of blue maybe some pink and peach um, and I'm not really sure how I'm gonna handle like the whites of her dress so it's just gonna be a learning curve um, so I'm just gonna get started so while I'm working and I don't know if you can let me see if I can get you in closer change this a little bit it gets a little bit darker there we go while I'm working I like to map out where the shadows are gonna go with just like little dashes so that way I don't really it's like essentially saving my my spot for the darkest parts of a drawing and this just sort of helps me remember sometimes I'll be working on something and I'm going too fast and then I realize oh that was supposed to be a shadow and I've you know I've forgotten so it's kind of nice to just have something like little dashes or X's to remind myself that this is gonna be a really dark part this is a shadow especially when I'm working um, with different mediums like in oil too I just kind of like to put a dot of like okay that's gonna be a dark spot and then move on 
So I just thought I'd share that little tip. That's something that keeps me in line. I tend to get sometimes looking at all these squares and all these moving parts, I get to I get so um in the zone that I can forget what I'm actually looking at. So it's just nice to have a reminder.
but it was fun to just kind of get something down and see that instant color happen. Um, I really enjoyed the process, but I don't really know what to do about these like little marks here. Um, I don't know, maybe it's just the type of marker, maybe I don't know how to use marker, who knows? Uh, this is my first time trying it out, so um, this again is the reference photo, and this is what I've come up with. Just wanted to play around and experiment, and I'm glad I did. I definitely want to try this again, but I, I just kind of need to learn how to blend marker, if that's even possible. So. Thank you so much if you stuck around and watched this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you would like to subscribe, I do a lot of art videos. Um, this spooky season, I've been doing drawing a scene from. So this is a scene from Halloween. And I just um, unfortunately got sick. So just sort of doing the best that I can. All right, well. I hope you have a good day. See you later.